conversions and we are going to convert 2.85 kilograms into how much grams? So first of all, we have to look at this and this says one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So here we have our whole number which equals to whatever the units are. So it is two kilograms. So if we times that by two, because one kilogram equals 1,000, it's going to equal 2,000. So this equals to 2,000 grams. And then we have 85, 0.85 kilograms. Now how do we work that out? Well first we have to make sure our number has three decimal places because 1,000 grams has three zeros. So what we have to do is if there's none, we just have to add a zero at the end. And then you have 850 grams mm -hmm. and then you just add them together. So you have 2,850 grams. So here we have 3,750 grams. And we need to convert that into kilograms. Down here you can see that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams and 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. We will be using this measurement at the bottom today. So we need to divide this number by 1,000. And the, a way that we can do that is by moving the decimal place forward by three times. So the decimal place starts here and then we move it forward three times. Let's just rewrite that to make it easier. We change it to kilograms because now once it is divided by 1000, it changes from grams into kilograms. And also, now this is in decimals, you don't need the zero. So it is 3.75 kilograms. we're going to do is now transfer 2.01 kilogram to grams. So as we know, one kilogram is a thousand grams. So what we're going to do is times. So 2.08 times a thousand. So from this equation, we now know that 2.08 kilograms is 2,080 grams. We're going to convert 11 kilograms and 59 grams into how much kilograms? So first what we do is the easiest part, 11 kilograms should always be the whole number of the decimal. Now we have to put 59 grams in here. So 1000 grams equals to 1 kilogram and 1000 has 3 zeros but we only have 2 numbers over here. So what we have to do is to make it 3 digits we have to put a zero before we add 59. So it's 11.059 kilograms. Now we're gonna convert 7.576 kilograms to how much kilograms and how much grams. So what we have to do first is we have to look at the whole number. The whole number should always equal to what the units are. So seven kilograms goes here and then 576 grams. So now it's time to test your skills you've learned in this video in a quiz. First of all, mark the following questions with um, a less than, equals, or greater than. A, um, 550 grams to half a kilogram. B, 368 grams to 0.368 kilograms. C, a three quarters of a kilogram to 72, 725 grams, and D, five sixths of a, gra of a kilogram to 0 0.8333 and etc. grams. Number two, convert these into grams and kilograms. That's pretty self explanatory. And for a bonus question, can you list units of weight other than grams and kilograms? How many are there? You are free to use the imperial system as well as the metric system.